Okay, with Scylla, you normally, normally, you will find that Scylla is, like I said before, split into two. Um, not overtly, but you have the Penchat, which is the martial, the war side of it, and the Seni, which is the art. Now, obviously, we're not living in a war zone. So and when we're practicing, we practice the art and some applications. Um, I don't know if you, if you so, do research on Silla. So if I can relate that to the, the Japanese martial arts, that would be the difference of Jitsu and Do. Mm -hmm. um, so Jitsu being the art side, Do being the way. Um, so one's an art, one's a way. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, now, majority of Silla styles will have the two, um, but one will be concealed in the other. So some stars, they stand up straight, yeah, similar to the top. So they move like this. Now this is a penchat style, where they will strike, which is called pukalan, yeah, or they will grab, which is called kunchian. So this, hold on actually, if we do the other side, you can see, similar to one that we done earlier today. But on the other side, we will hit this first. If he doesn't block, that's going through his neck. No need to do a lock or a grab. <laughs> if he blocks, oh, okay. That's what I wanted. Now I've got the same lock that he had. But we'll do slightly differently. Come back to the mat. <laughs> <laughs> In this position, I unloosen his leg. Right, my leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's charged. He's charged. <laughs> he's ready. Let's throw the punch again slowly. As, you, as we've done before, any block to the side. Instead of going straight into it, put a strike in there. So it's the right. It's my fault. Put a strike in there. This will loosen up this hand because some people, when they punch, they bring their hand straight back. They're not going straight through. So he punches, I block, I hit. That hit distracts. I come in again, distract, disrupt. The pressure points are good, but if he's immune, then I have to fight a little bit more on him. Distracting, distracting. He then goes. If I have the wrist locks that we had on earlier, he can hit the floor and I can still hold his hand in the air. So what we're going to do, just slowly, it's the same thing as we've done before, but just with a couple of variations for you to see the slight difference that Silat will add. Silat will add a strike over here, or here, first off. Because if he does two punches, this second one's going to hit me. Ah, I should have grabbed this hand. This is what I'm saying, people bring their hand back. If I push that across, I've got a simple sweep, yeah? Um, within Silla, you will find that sweeps, grabs, locks, chokes, and ultimately striking, they all work from each other. So instead of one position which would be a hit, or one position that would be a grab, you'll find that every position, there's hits. And we use those hits at all times. Every position is a grab. We can do the same thing against his wrist. Okay, I won't do that time consuming. But every position, you have hits, grabs, kicks, as the brother was asking, yeah. many kicks we can come to. <laughs> Again, so first off, block to the side, step to the side, yeah? That's just as important. Block to the side, step to the side. That means if he's punching you, he's crossing himself. Yeah, or if he's moving, as we said before, one movement, I move. If he moves again, I keep moving, no problem. So one to the side. Second, step and hit. Off the bounce from this hit. The bounce of this hit brings your hand back, underneath. And it's the same that we've done before. You can leave it like that. If you want to use the mat, as you do so, use his, this elbow in the same pressure point as the brother showed and he goes down. Go from the mat on that. 
<laughs> <laughs> right, if you put it up and start slowly. Okay. 